and welcome back to the new video in this video we are going to implement the api for registering the user so let's jump into the vs code yeah for writing the api i'm assuming that you are already aware about the node.js at least you are know the basic concept of the node.js for creating this server how to create the apis and all these things i'm not going to deep dive into the each and every node.js concept okay so coming to the first one so i have cre i'm creating the server and for the authentication verification we are going to use the jwt so we just will go through the J basic of the jwt yeah what exactly is the jwt json web token so jwt is used for verifying the users so actually it contains a three part first one is the header second one is the payload and third one is the signature the well, first part it contain the U url in this part contain the encoded value of this algorithm type algorithm and the type of the jwt second part it contains the payload we can add any payload and this part is just the encoded form of this uh, payload i will show you by changing this and third one is the signature how we create this signature signature is the combination hash of combination of first url encoded of the header second one url encoded of the payload and third one is the secret key which will be stored at the server and it should be confidential to the server only so it should not we should not share this every anywhere so i am adding one more field here slash email abc at the rate gmail.com yeah so at every stroke the signature is getting changed because how it's getting calculated it's a combination hash of this first one payload second one is the payload and third one is the secret key in the secret key also we hash function is irreversible and it's a hash of these three function uh, three things first one is the url encoded of the payload second one is the header and third one is the secret key and signatures get calculated when when we registered user we create this J json web token and send to the client next time when client send any request with this jwt we verifies again these two parts we already know because these are just uh, encoded encoded of the header and encoded part of the header and payload and at the server side we already aware about the key when we get this json web token again server very uh, create the sign uh, server create the json web token using first one second part and the third part is the secret key and it matches if the signature is matching to the whatever server got from the client if there is a similarity it means whatever the server send uh, whatever the json web token send server S client sent exactly same as and there is no there is no change in jwt it means that is the authenticated user and this way server can verify the next part whenever we hit any api it's checking if slash user uh, if you are hitting the slash user so it's a restricted it's re it's not a restricted route for the registering the user if we hit any other apis it will go through this verification process of the jwt so coming to the first that is the slash user api so from the postman we will be registering the user here registering the user so our server uh, our server is not running actually uh, just i'm going to api slash 1.4 norman app.js so i'm running the server right now yeah our server is running locally 
for on the port number 4000 so the first one for registering we are sending json body username as a pub1 and organization is the organization org1 so i will show you how what exactly is happening so we will hit this api and see the response currently i am hitting the send button now yeah so we got a token as well and you register this user has enrolled successfully so what is process of registering and enroll enrolling so we will go through that api in inside helper we have register user method so we will go through go there in the helper get registered user what exactly we are doing here we are getting a client object using organizations from the above functions these profiles we have already defined connection profile getting client that con uh, the information is getting loaded and under the hood what exactly it happening we are getting the admin object if admin is not enrolled it will get enrolled for the certificate authority and after that once we get an admin object we can register the client and enroll the client the process for creating the certificate is first of all we have to register the client and using admin object and second one is a in, we have to enroll that client when we write the apis for fabric 2.0 using fabric network so i will deep dive into the each and every method but just right now just assume uh, right now just consider that if admin is not enrolled we have to enroll that admin and second one once we get that admin object we have to register the client first and again once we register the client we have to enroll that client and this is the process we have to follow and it's happening under the hood for these methods first one we are getting the admin object if it is not there actually under the hood is getting enrolled and after that we are registering the user after again we will enroll as well and this process are happening under the hood okay uh, once user is enrolled these crypto materials for that user is getting added into this folder these are the public key and the private key for user actually there are two one is the admin one is for admin public key private key and second one is the user which just we have enrolled that is pawan and second folder fabric key value org1 here is the admin and other user identity we can see here yeah this is the signing identity which is available exactly here we can see here public and private key are exactly mentioned d17 d17 and this is the signing identity for this user and private key and public key are here inside the crypto material crypto folder and identity is here we can see we can enroll any number of users let's enroll another one user and i will say see the different folder different files which are create getting created inside the folders again i am sending this request for registering again this user is also get enrolled successfully and here again we can see inside the fabric key value org1 this identity is there and signing identity dcf29 dcf29 and for this user we have public key and the private key inside this crypto slash org1 folder in this way we can enroll any number of or any number of users for this network for organization 1 and organization 2 as well currently i am sending organization 1 only 
and the crypto materials we are storing at the server we are not handling over to the users and whatever the activities are happening we can see the log at the server side here we have run the server and all the logs will get printed here you can go through that in this way we can register multiple users any number of users using this api that's it for this video in case if you are facing any issue just let me know in the comment section so i will try to solve that thank you so much for watching this video stay tuned for the more update